Our immune system relies mainly on white blood cells. These cells wander around our body in the bloodstream seeking out pathogens that cause illness. But it's not an easy task because there are billions of different molecules in our body. In order to determine which of these are pathogens, white blood cells look for special molecules called antigens. Antigens are located on the surface of viruses, bacteria and other disease-causing substances. When white blood cells detect antigens, the immune system is triggered and antibodies are produced. These antibodies attach to the antigens and the pathogens are destroyed. There are also antigens on our red blood cells. In the ABORH system, antigens on blood cells are named A and B. If your blood cells have only the A antigen, your blood group is A. If only the B antigen is present, your blood group is B. If both A and B antigens are present, your blood group is AB. And if both are absent, your blood group is O. The relationship between antigens and antibodies is like that of a key in a lock. Each antibody is an exact match for only one type of antigen. For example, there's an A antibody that can only attach to the A antigen on blood cells. However, the A antigen and A antibody can't be found in the blood at the same time because as soon as the A antibody attaches to the A antigen, a warning is given that the cell with the antigen is foreign and harmful for the body, and the immune system attacks the cells with the A antigen. This is why blood groups play such a crucial role in blood transfusions. For example, group AB is compatible with all blood types. In other words, group AB can receive blood from all other groups, since it has neither A nor B antibodies. Group O, on the other hand, is the universal donor. This is because no matter what type of antibodies, A, B or both, are in the blood, the blood cells don't have antigens to which the antibodies will attach. However, group O blood has both A and B antibodies. In other words, group O can't receive blood from another group except O. If a person with type O blood received a type A blood transfusion, the A antibodies in the blood would attach to the A antigen in the transplanted blood and trigger the immune system to attack the cells. In 1940, scientists Carl Landsteiner and Alexander Wiener discovered an antigen in their experiments on rhesus monkeys. It was determined that this antigen is also present in human blood cells. The antigen was named RH, short for rhesus. RH positive indicates that the RH antigen is present in the blood cells, while RH negative indicates that it's absent. This antigen is also important in blood transfusions. Only RH negative blood can be given to RH negative bloods, while both RH positive and RH negative bloods can be given to people with RH positive blood. Since there's no RH antibody in RH positive blood, it doesn't matter whether the transfused blood has the RH antigen or not. The RH factor of a mother and a baby is extremely important during pregnancy. Serious conditions can occur if the mother's blood is RH negative and the baby's blood is RH positive. Since there's no RH antigen in the mother's blood cells, in this case, there are RH antibodies in the mother's blood. RH antibodies pass to the baby, bind to the RH antigen in the baby's blood cells and send the signal that these cells are invaders. As a result, the mother's defense system attacks the baby's blood cells. This condition is called hemolytic disease of the newborn, or HDN. It can be treated by changing the baby's blood completely. Finally, let's take a look at a summary of all the blood groups and the groups that are compatible with each.
we can see that the most common blood group of all is ORH positive, and the rarest is ABRH negative.